Are you trying to figure out how to edit your WordPress footer? I've got a few suggestions for you coming right up. Hi there, I'm Christine on With Thrive Themes. On this channel, we talk about how to build an amazing website and how to build a thriving online business. If you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do that. So WordPress footers. This is an interesting topic because it really kind of feels like WordPress manages to make it more complicated than it needs to be. And that is because your WordPress footer is managed by your WordPress theme. So some WordPress themes let you make changes and some don't. And with some WordPress themes like Genesis, you can edit your footer, but you have to download an additional plugin in order to do that. Now, one thing you can do is you can always go into the code and make your changes there, but we don't really want to do that, right? So being that footers are dependent on your theme, I'll first show you three places that you can typically go to change your WordPress footer. And then I'll show you the absolute easiest solution, which does involve using a very specific WordPress theme, but I'll show you why this one is better than the others. So the first place you can go is you can go to appearance and widgets. And by the way, I'm currently using ocean WP as my theme. And if we scroll down, the Ocean WP theme has four footer widget areas. And you can click on these and then click on the plus sign to add elements to your footer. Now, this method is a little difficult to visualize what the actual footer will look like. So the other place you can go is you can go to Appearance and Customize. And if we scroll down here, then we have a footer widgets area. And we also have a footer bottom area. And on the right side of the page, you can actually see what your edits will do uh, on the page. Now for the third example, I'll need to switch themes. For this third example, I've switched to the 2023 WordPress theme. That is the theme that currently comes with WordPress. And to customize the footer for this theme, then go to Appearance and Editor. Then let's choose a template. I'll go ahead and choose the Home template. And let's scroll down the page. Here's my footer. To edit this footer, I'll simply click on it. And then to add elements, simply click on the plus sign at the top of the page. The problem with this is personally, I find this editor difficult to use. So let me tell you about the solution that I believe is better than any of these. And that is Thrive Theme Builder. Thrive Theme Builder is a WordPress theme that lets you build the exact layout you want using a drag and drop visual editor so that you can see exactly what you're doing as you're doing it and you don't have to touch any code. With Thrive Theme Builder, you can create the layout you want for your website in just a few minutes using pre-built templates, and then you can customize those templates to your heart's desire. So let me show you just how easy it is to get started. After purchasing Thrive Theme Builder, you'll need to log in to your Thrive Themes account and download the Thrive Product Manager plugin. After that, hop on over to your WordPress website and then go to Plugins and Add New, and then click the Upload button to upload the file that you just downloaded. After installing and activating Thrive Product Manager, you'll see it appear in the sidebar to the left. So click on Thrive Product Manager and then go ahead and select the products you would like to install and then you'll be guided to install and activate your Thrive products. After that, you'll be taken to the Thrive Theme Builder site wizard, and this is the easy way to build the exact website design you want. So you'll be asked to upload your logo. You'll also be asked to choose a main brand color, but then here is where Thrive Theme Builder is just absolute magic. Let's go to headers and let's click the drop down on the right to look at all of the header options and you have lots of different header designs to choose from. I'll select this one. And now let's take a look at the footer options. Again, you have several designs to choose from. I'll choose this one. And then the site wizard will guide you through selecting layouts for your homepage, uh, your individual blog posts, etc. And right away after selecting templates in the site wizard, we're already going to have a working website. So let me show you the homepage. Okay, so here's my home page. This is the header that I chose. This is the page layout that I chose. And this is the footer that I chose. Now, all of this information here is fake information and it's just for demonstration purposes only, but you'll notice that this information is already populated for me. Let me show you where this information came from. So I'd like to show you smart site global fields. So let's go to the Thrive dashboard and let's look for smart site. Here it is. Let's go to smart settings. 
and here are my smart site global fields. Here is where you can put information that you'll be using in multiple places on your site. So things like your company information, links to your legal pages, and links to your social media profiles. A lot of these things are things that you might want to put in your footer, in your sidebar, maybe on your contact page. And what's nice about global fields is that you can enter in your information once and anytime you use, for example, the social follow element, it's going to use these links. If your social information changes, then you can just come right back here to smart site, change it once, and it will automatically update throughout your site. So this is a huge time saver. I highly recommend that after going through the site wizard, just take a minute or two to fill out your smart site global fields. Next, let's edit our footer in Thrive Theme Builder. So let's go to the Thrive dashboard and let's go to Thrive Theme Builder. And then we'll need to go to the templates tab and in Thrive Theme Builder, by default, your footer is going to be used on all of the theme controlled pages of your website. So it's going to be on your home page, it's going to be on your default post template, it's going to be used on your audio posts and video posts and your default pages. So to edit the footer, you can actually choose any of these templates. And when you make changes to your footer, it will update on all of the other templates as well. I'm going to edit my footer by going to my active home page. So here's my home page. Let's scroll down to the footer. Here it is. I'll click on the footer and then to edit it, I'll click the edit footer button. And now you'll notice that this page has an orange outline around it. When you see this orange outline, that means that I've clicked into a sub menu of sorts, which is just for the footer. And so right now I'm restricted to editing just the footer section. Now editing your footer is so easy because everything is right here on the page. Let me walk you through some common things that people like to edit. So let's say you would like to change the background color for your entire footer. What's important in Thrive Themes is that you select the correct container. So right now I've clicked on text. We actually want to use the footer container since we're changing the background color for the entire footer area. So now with footer selected, I'll go to the background style tab, and now I can change the background color. Okay, I'll click apply. Now the next thing you might want to customize is maybe you don't want to display all of this contact information. So let's say we'd like to remove our phone number. That's really easy to do. Simply click on this element here, and then I'll use the trash can icon to get rid of it. Now let's move on to the menu at the bottom of the page and let's move this out of the way. So let's click on the menu and make sure that custom menu is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And then let's go to the main options tab. Now you'll notice that you have lots of different customization options here. One of them that I would like to show you is the menu source. Now, if you want to create your menu right here in the Thrive Editor, then you'll need to use the custom source, and then you can edit your menu items right down here. Just simply open this dropdown and then click the pencil icon to make your edits. Now, if you've already created a menu in WordPress, let's scroll back up to the source. It will show up here and then you can select it. Now, this menu down here, I've created ahead of time in WordPress. If I would like to edit this menu, I'll need to go back to WordPress to edit it. And Thrive Theme Builder has made it really easy to do that. Simply click this link here. And now you can edit your menu in WordPress. Okay, so let's hop back over to my footer. Now in Thrive Theme Builder, you can add so many different things to your footer. So let's go to the Add Element button. And you can add text, images, buttons, and any of these elements can be brought into your footer. Now, let's say you would like to add some social follow icons right here underneath your logo. Let's search for the social follow element. Here it is. And I'll simply click and drag this to right underneath this logo. Now these look a little bit big. So let's go to the main options tab and let's simply adjust the size. And if you want, you can also choose a different style. I'll go with that for now. Now, if you remember those smart site global fields, let's click the edit button for Facebook. And so right now the Facebook icon is going to take people to a dynamic link, which was specified in your global fields. And it's going to take people to your Facebook page. Now, everything in Thrive Theme Builder is highly customizable. So if you don't actually want to take people to the link that you specified, in smart site global fields, you can absolutely do that. Just click on the static link button and input a new URL right here. 
For most people, I would recommend using global fields unless you have a specific reason not to. Now, as for other things you can add to your footer, you can add credit card images if you have an online store, you can add custom HTML, you can also add a lead generation form, you can also add star ratings, you can add testimonials, you can also add a search bar, and as you can see, there's lots more things you can add. So when you're finished editing your footer, be sure to click done to get out of editing your footer. And then if you need to, you can customize other elements on the page. So that's how to edit the footer for your WordPress website. If you want a WordPress theme that offers lots of different layouts and it's also very easy to customize, then be sure to check out Thrive Theme Builder. Now, if you're also looking for solutions for putting an email opt-in on your website, creating online courses and memberships, putting quizzes on your website, building sales pages, then consider upgrading to Thrive Suite, which is our entire collection of tools and plugins, and it includes Thrive Theme Builder. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.